you need anything? Well, aside from my boys, everything I need is right here. I made a big mistake. I need to do this. When you and Aiden were out there, I... What he was doing to you, I could have stopped it. It's not your fault. Well, no, it is. I, I, I could have... I could have stopped it. No, no, Zach. Aiden went insane. You couldn't have known that. You couldn't have known what he was doing to me. I thought I knew. What do you mean? I tracked you down. I followed you to Ohio. I looked through the window and... I thought I saw you and Aiden, and it wasn't you at all. I know. Aiden set you up. He wanted to make you think that, that we were sleeping together. Well, it worked. I assumed the worst and I left. Zach, Aiden manipulated us. He knew our weak spot and he took advantage of it. Listen to me, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I promise. And you, you need to know this. The whole time I was with Aiden, I was not unfaithful. And I should have believed you and I didn't. Don't do this to yourself, Zach. Please don't. I made you a promise. I promised I wouldn't let the past get in the way. And I broke that promise. I didn't trust you. And you shouldn't forgive me for that. We can check out a different beach every day and go scuba diving and whitewater rafting. And at night, we can dance under the stars. Oh, I can't wait. What about your father? I thought you didn't want to leave him. Yeah, but, I mean, it'll only be for two weeks, right? And you and I need some alone time. <sighs> Think of it as our honeymoon. Yeah. You do want to go, right? Absolutely. Then why am I sensing hesitation? Because you're distracting me. I love you. I love everything about you. The way that you make me feel. And for the first time in so long, I'm happy with my life because of you. I just, I lied to Amanda. What do you mean you lied? We were in my house, everything was fine. We're getting into the whole holiday spirit, you know, and then she opens up her suitcase, and inside the suitcase is a present from David to Trevor. And I get that, that's fine, I get that, right? But it's just that it, wherever we are, there he is. I mean, he just I always finds a way. I telling you, you just, can't you know, afford to lose it about Hayward. I was cool, I wasn't, I'm not, you're not listening to me. I was cool, I didn't overreact, but then she starts to defend him, you see, and that pissed me off, and I just, I, I just had to leave. I couldn't mm, stay there. At least you got out of the poor guy out of hand. And then That's she starts not... talking about, wow, how wonderful is he? He's he's sacrificing and he's given us custody of Trevor, which isn't really happened yet. But, you know, and now she's believing that we're in some sort of a Hayward free zone where we get to live without him. And that's not true because custody comes with strings, right? Actually, it's not strings. It's more like a, a bungee cord that's attached to my wife, which will just pull her right back to Wild Wind into his arms. And I don't know what to do. Shut up. Of course, you know what to do. You fight. I know, you're not supposed to see yes. that. No, I, well, I'm yeah. going to fight a dead yeah. man. Everybody yeah. knows you he's fight. dying, right? You fight. You fight by forgetting Hayward. You fight by concentrating on Amanda and Trevor. Oh. Look, they're back where they belong, right? It's the start of the holiday season. Pour everything you've got into making sure your family has the best Christmas ever. Give Amanda the one thing that Hayward can't. Love, baby, real love. That's all you need. I don't know what he's up to. Who cares? Go back to your wife. Forget about Hayward, okay? Don't think about him. Don't worry. Just pretend he doesn't exist. That way you're going to blow him right out of Amanda's consciousness. All you've got to do is make sure your wife knows how much she means to you. Oh, what's the matter, sweetie? You always sleep through the night. 
I know you're not used to this place, but this is our home now, okay? Before long, you're gonna love it here. Just please ignore the beer can tree. Yeah. Hey, look at all these presents. Is that what you're looking at? You're such a lucky boy, because those are all for you. Yes, they are. And this one is from your daddy. I know, you miss him, don't you? Yes, you do. But it's okay, because you're gonna see him soon, all right, Precious? Okay. You know what? I promised I wouldn't do this, but just for you. Come on, buddy. I'll let you get one present, all right? One present from your daddy. You wanna see what it is? Look, let's see. What is this? Look. Oh, what is that? It's a daddy bear and his little baby cub. Should I read you the card? Here, you play with that. To my son on his first Christmas, a big bear hug from daddy. Fancy meeting you here. No, not really, because I'm here to meet someone else. Lucky man. So tell me, have you had the chance to open that envelope I gave you? Yes. And what have you decided to do? It's none of your business. I'll have a vodka tonic, please. What's the emergency, Counselor? And if this is about Adam Chandler's trial, I've moved on. I think we should step outside. What do you want? 